Hi guys. So guys, the other night for dinner, I made some delicious, quick and easy, I'll call them shortcut, birria tacos that I have to share with you guys because it's so quick and easy. Yes, I did it the lazy way, but I promise you it came out delicious. So the first thing you're going to need is a beef roast. I used about a two pound beef roast. I used a bottom roast, but if you want, you can use a chuck roast. If you want more fat and more juiciness in the meat, I would suggest using a chuck roast. Now you're going to need your favorite corn tortillas. Now this right here is what makes it so much easier. You don't have to make the red chili sauce. We're going to use a can of red chili enchilada sauce. If you take out the word enchilada, what, is it, what does it say? What's left? red chili sauce so we're just going to thin it out a little bit with some beef broth so you're going to need a can of beef broth also you're also going to need some fresh garlic and a bay leaf you're going to need a little bit of canola oil or veggie oil now as for the cheese, I would suggest, and I am using Mexican Oaxaca cheese. Now this cheese is super melty, super pulley, super flavorful. Um, if you can't find it, try some fresh mozzarella. That'll give you that pull and that, that melt that you want. But I would highly suggest using the Oaxaca cheese if you can. Now to get this started, we're going to go ahead and salt and pepper our roast down, girl. You want to salt and pepper it on all sides because we're going to try to sear it on all sides. And we want to really lock in that juice and that flavor. Now to cut the time down and make it easier, we're going to use our Instapot pressure cooker. Um, you want to set your pressure cooker on saute and get it nice and hot. You want those settings up as high as they can go because you want to get it as hot as you can. And then we're going to go ahead and add in our oil. We're going to go ahead and add in our oil and then we're going to sear our roast on all sides possible. You want to develop a nice crusty layer on this roast. Now once your roast is nice and seared, we're going to go ahead and add the rest of the ingredients to the pot. We're going to add in our can of enchilada sauce. And then we're going to add in our beef broth. Next, we're going to throw in our garlic and then we're going to add in some seasonings. Now, if you have a really good enchilada sauce, you don't have to do this, but I like to add flavor. So I'm going to add in some smoked paprika. I'm going to add in some cumin, a little bit of oregano, some garlic powder and onion powder. I'm going to add in some chili powder. I'm going to add in a little bit of salt and black pepper. And then I'm gonna throw in my bay leaf. And then we're gonna mix everything really well. Now, like I said, if you have a really good flavorful enchilada sauce, you don't have to add all these extra seasonings. But I just wanted to amp up the flavor a little bit more because I felt bad because I was using canned enchilada sauce. But um, it just depends on the brand of enchilada sauce you're using. So next I'm gonna go ahead and lock my lid on. I'm gonna set it to stew meat and I'm going to cook it for about 45 minutes. Now if I would have cut this roast into pieces I wouldn't have had to cook it this long. I don't know what I was thinking but it took about 45 minutes to get this roast nice and tender. Now I did let it um, naturally release until it was almost completely done and then I went ahead and forced the release, opened it up and there we have our magnificent juicy flavorful glistening roast now I know you're looking at all that oil on top like 
girl. But we're going to take that oil and we're going to cook our corn tortillas in it, which is going to add even more flavor to our tacos, y'all. So we're going to take a ladle or a coffee cup or a spoon and you want to dip that oil off the top. You want to skim it off the top of this broth. Now you're not going to be able to get all the oil and you will get a little bit of juice, which is okay. So just skim as much as the oil off the top as you can. Next, we're just gonna remove our roast. We're gonna put it in a plate or a dish. You wanna shred it up, and then we're gonna set it aside. She's all glistening and stuff. Now, that broth and that enchilada sauce cooked together is what makes our consomme, our consomme. So taste it if you need to add some more salt, pepper, seasonings. Make it yours, make it nice and flavorful. But this is gonna be our consomme, you guys. Nice and easy. So we're gonna take a couple of ladles of the consomme and we're gonna add it back to our meat so we can get our meat nice and juicy and flavorful. You just wanna toss that juice and that meat together to bring that meat back to life. Get it nice and juicy. Now here I've chopped up some white onion and some fresh cilantro, and I grated my Oaxaca cheese. Now I took a little plate, I'm gonna go ahead and pour that um, nice flavorful oil in it. This is just gonna make it easier to dip my corn tortilla in it before I add it to my skillet. So I'm gonna take my corn tortilla and I'm gonna dip it in that oil on both sides and then I'm gonna add it to my hot skillet. Now I'm gonna let this corn tortilla fry up a bit just until it starts to get little crispy brown pieces and gets crispy around the edges, you guys. <laughs> it's actually 3.30 in the morning and I'm recording this, so if I'm a little frazzled, that's why. But we're gonna go ahead and flip our corn tortilla over and then we're gonna add our cheese, our Oaxaca cheese, or whatever cheese you're using. And we're gonna add our nice, juicy meat on top. I like to add a little bit of cilantro and onions to it. And then we're gonna go ahead and flip it. Flip that other end over. Now we're basically letting this cook until the other side of the corn tortilla gets a little crispy. And I like to let it cook and let the cheese ooze out and fry up. I like me some fried cheese. So I like to let it sit for a minute so that cheese can get nice and crispy around the edges. Now we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of fresh lime to our consomme. And then we're gonna sprinkle on a little bit of cilantro. If you like cilantro, I love it. Now you see all that fried cheese around the edges? Girl, so good. Yes. Mm-hmm, you know that looks good. And it was so easy. So now we're just gonna do a little dippity dip dip, doodah dippity dip. Take a bite. You guys, it's quick. It's easy, it may not be authentic, it may be lazy, but I promise you, it's delicious. Mm. 
Yum.